Aloha and welcome. I'm Fade Panther, and this is Pumpkin Jack. Um, I've been wanting to play this for a while. Um, the demo I had for it, that I was going to end up playing for the channel, uh, it disabled, so I couldn't play it that way. Uh, so we're getting into this. I know that this is a hack and slash in the vein of medieval. Once upon a time, in the great Arkansil Kingdom, the world lived in peace and coexistence between the humans, the animals, the birds, even the cute little bunny rabbits. It was an age of prosperity without anything to fear of war, famine, catastrophe. It was so very boring. boring. Yep. So boring, in fact, that even the devil himself was bored brainless. The devil dreamed of bloodshed, pestilence, suffering on a cosmic scale. So, he devised a plan to make things in Arkansas a little more entertaining. The devil unleashed the curse of the Eternal Night. A powerful spell that conjured mindless, soulless, heartless monsters across the world. The monsters lay waste to every city, every home, every leaky outhouse, and backwater town in the kingdom. It was beautiful, but for some reason, the humans quite enjoyed their safe, boring little lives. They couldn't handle a few pesky monsters coming in and tearing them all limb from limb. So, they called upon the champion. A mighty wizard. A sorcerer with the skill and intellect to break the curse and usurp the devil's power. The wizard departed his luxurious tower in his studies to find the power he needed to break the curse of the eternal night. Very well. The devil said, two can play that game. And who knows, this might be the fun I've been looking for. So in response to the wizard's quest, he called upon a champion of his own. Stingy Jack, <laughs> history's greatest trickster and con artist, banished to wander the world as a wayward spirit. The devil crammed Jack's soul into the skin of a pumpkin and made him a deal. The devil would forgive Jack's past misdeeds and grant him passage to the after. And in return, he gave Jack one simple mission. Find the wizard and destroy him. Yep. We are not the good guy in this story. I kind of figured it would. Uh, let me. Oh, I start off with a double jump? Okay. for trickery. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I love the visuals. Is oh okay. This is kind of what I wanted to play. Just a, a, a game that allows me to go around and beat the shit out of stuff. The story is there, but not really heavy. But also, it's not a roguelike, which I've been playing a lot of lately. Don't get me wrong, I do like the roguelikes I'm playing, both the one for the channel and the one not. But there's still, like, limits. I wasn't expecting that.
Yeah, I figured.
Yeah, so there, there's an audio cue, which is actually pretty fantastic. This is a really good running.
missed two crow skulls. Oh well. Now I know what to listen for. Stingy Jack, the genius trickster who could fool even the devil himself, has returned to the mortal realm. Armed with a brand new body and his soul cruelly bound to a festering pumpkin, Jack has been joined by his stoic guide, the Owl, and commandeered the services of a cowardly crow to fight on his behalf. But there must be no more time for fun and games. Jack and his companions of the night must embark upon their quest to slay the wizard. With Jack now perfectly attuned to his new vessel, the Owl leads him to the mountains in the distance. For at the heart of the mountain, through a network of ancient mines, lies a powerful secret. No shit.
that is it for this episode. Tomorrow will be the next one, and uh, I'll probably interchange this one with Scarlet Nexus and um, the Unlosing Ranger. So until next time, have fun, be safe, and aloha.